Welcome to the lecture titled State Space Analysis for Identification of Systems. In this lecture, we shall study in detail the state space analysis technique first. After that, how can we apply the state space analysis technique for identification of systems will be discussed. So, state space analysis means what is state space? To understand that, let us consider a few state space equations. You are very much familiar to equations of this form, where the first equation given by x dot t equal to a x t plus b u t is known as the state equation, whereas the second one y t equal to c x t plus d u t is known as the output equation. What do we mean by the output and state of a system? Now, I have got a system whose output is y t, input is u t, where from those a, b, c, d are coming for simplicity in analysis, let us not consider d u t in the output equation and let us take output equation of the form y t equal to c x t. Now, a b c d are the system parameters. Now, I have got a system here. The dynamics of this system can be given in terms of the state equation and output equation. To understand that, let us see. Suppose the I have got the output x t. When I have got integrator, its input to the integrator will be x dot t. Now, x dot t is equal to b u t b u t plus a x t. So, I have got a x t. Further, y t is equal to c x t. So, whatever we have within the bounding box is belonging to a system and the system is now subjected to the input u t and output y t and the corresponding output y t. When the system is subjected to some input u t, it results in system responses given by y t. So, the dynamic equation, the state and output equation can be obtained from this block diagram, representation of the system. Now, A, B, C are the system parameters, because these, those are coming inside the state of the system. Okay? So, that is why we, get, we call A, B, C are the system parameters. D will not consider, because we have set uh, removed to the D from the output equation. Now, how practically we get what information basically we get from this type of arrangement, from this type of block diagram. Suppose, I have got a first order system without any delay, then what I get from there? Suppose, I have got some y s upon u s is equal to k upon t 1 s plus 1. I have not included the delay term in this for each in analysis. Now, when you write this again um, in the form of y o s times t 1 s plus 1 is equal to k u s taking 
इनवर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म वी गेट वाई टी वाई डॉट टी टी वन प्लस वाई टी इज इक्वल टू के यू टी नाउ दिस फर्दर कैन बी रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाई डॉट टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन अपन टी वन वाई टी प्लस के अपन टी वन यू टी सपोज वाई टी इक्वल टू सम स्टेट वेरिएबल एक्स टी इन दैट केस द डायनेमिक इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स डॉट टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन अपन टी वन एक्स टी प्लस के अपन टी वन यू टी देन वेन दिस इज नाउ गिवेन इन द ब्लॉक डायग्राम फॉर्म वॉट वी गेट वेन आई अरेन्ज द सेम इन द ब्लॉक डायग्राम फॉर्म आई हैव गॉट एक्स टी माइनस वन ऑफ सॉरी इंटीग्रेटर x dot t then here you have got minus 1 upon t1 added over here and here k upon t1 you have gone uh, you have got unity gain here output yt and input U T. So the first order system is now represented in this form. So whatever dynamics this system model gives, that can be <coughs> explained with the help of the state variables x t and the output variable y t. Now, if I look at the block diagram, y t equal to x t what about x dot t x dot t is equal to now a x t plus b u t where a is equal to minus 1 upon t 1 and b is equal to k upon t 1 so these are the system parameters what is this t1 t1 is the time constant of the system what is b b involves the steady state gain ratio between the steady state gain and the time constant of the system so uh, b again gives uh, some another parameter of the system so this first order system dynamics can be given in this block diagram form what is the beauty of this sort of representation in time domain that one can include the initial condition in the systems where the initial conditions will come this integrator this integrator can be with initial conditions so whenever you have got capacitors and integrators in any system they can always contribute to initial conditions of the system because they store energy they store information and the that prior information or past informations can be made use of to find the system output at any instant of time so with this type of representation which is known as the time domain representation of the systems in the form of state equation and the output equation it is possible to include the effects of initial conditions in a system why we are worried about the initial conditions of a system 
बिकॉज द सिस्टम कैन बी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम एनी पॉइंट और पर्टिकुलरली इन आवर केस द रिले टेस्ट कैन बी इफेक्टेड एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम एज एंड वेन आइडेंटिफिकेशन इज नेसेसरी वेन द सिस्टम डायनेमिक्स चेंजेस ओवर टाइम इट इज नेसेसरी टू आइडेंटिफाई द मॉडल पैरामीटर्स ऑफ ए सिस्टम और वेन एवर रिट्यूनिंग ऑफ कंट्रोलर्स आर नेसेसरी एट दैट टाइम आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ सिस्टम्स आर ऑल्सो नेसेसरी सो द आइडेंटिफिकेशन कैन बी इफेक्टेड एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इनिशियल कंडीशंस ऑफ द सिस्टम व्हेन द रिले टेस्ट इज परफॉर्म्ड आर टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ इफ वन डज नॉट टेक इन टू अकाउंट द इफेक्ट ऑफ इनिशियल कंडीशन इन ए सिस्टम देन द टाइप ऑफ आउटपुट वेब फॉर्म वन विल ऑप्टेन एनालिटिकली मे नॉट बी द वन वाट वन शुड हैव ऑप्टेंड वेन इनिशियल कंडीशंस आर कंसिडर्ड सो टू गेट एक्यूरेट आउटपुट वेब फॉर्म फ्रॉम एनालिसिस इट इज नेसेसरी टू इंक्लूड द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इनिशियल कंडीशंस ऑफ ए सिस्टम एट द टाइम ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग रिले टेस्ट सो कमिंग टू द सिस्टम रिप्रेजेंटेशन द सिस्टम हैज बीन रिप्रेजेंटेड इन दिस टिपिकल फॉर्म सच दैट वी कैन टेक इट इन टू अकाउंट द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इनिशियल कंडीशन नाउ एनी ऑर्डर सिस्टम्स कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन ब्लॉक डायग्राम फॉर्म इन दैट केस द नंबर ऑफ इंटीग्रेटर्स विल बी मोर सपोज वी हैव गॉट we have a third order system then how many integrators will be there one has to make use of three integrators to draw the simulation diagram of this form then the three integrators will introduce three initial conditions those initial conditions in a system are very important when relay बेस्ट एनालिसिस ऑफ क्लोज टू लुप सिस्टम्स आर डन नाउ वी गेट ए डायनेमिक इक्वेशन ऑफ द फॉर्म एक्स डट टी इक्वल टू ए एक्स टी प्लस बी यू टी फॉर ए सिस्टम एंड द आउटपुट इक्वेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम इज गिवेन एज सी एक्स टी now to find the output of the system at any time instant what do you need to know you need to have information about the states of the system at that instant of time so xt gives us, us the set of states involved with a, a system how can we find expression for xt if we can find expression for xt then simply yt is equal to cxt can be made use to find the output of the system analytically now either to get the wave form output wave form or to get the analytical analytical expressions it is necessary to first establish the relationship between the states and system parameters so now effort will be made to find expression for the state variables xt consider the state equation first so when the state equation state equation is multiplied with plot with e to the power minus a t we get e to the power minus a t x dot t is equal to e to the power minus a t a x t plus e to the power minus at b u t 
this e to the power minus a t is often known as eternal function eternal function why it is called eternal function because it plays an important role in mathematics as well as in solving many difference differential equations that is why it is called an eternal function so with the help of the eternal function i can write this expression in the form of e to the power minus a tau x dot t now i'll use some other variable x dot tau is equal to e to the power minus a tau a x tau plus e to the power minus a tau b u tau what has been done here we have changed the variable only the t has been substituted by tau there are no changes to the system dynamics or to the state equation as far as both equations are concerned now when i collect the terms in this fashion e to the power minus a tau x dot tau minus e to the power minus a tau a x tau is equal to e to the power minus a tau b u tau this enables us to write the left hand side of the upper equation in the form of d over d tau e to the power minus a tau x tau is equal to e to the power minus a tau b u tau now up to this point i believe you should have no doubt i'll modify the state equation little bit because we'll be dealing with delayed state equations in analysis of relay control systems or for identifying systems using time domain analysis we shall deal with delayed state equations or differential equations therefore when the state equation is written in the form of x dot t x dot t is equal to a x t plus b u t minus theta because of time delay in the system then the same can be written the one we have got earlier can be written this expression can be written in the form of d upon d tau e to the power minus a tau x tau is equal to e to the power minus a tau b u t minus theta so this equation can further be solved taking integration on both sides then we get integration from 0 to t d over d of e to the power minus a tau x tau is equal to integration from 0 to t e to the power minus a tau b u t minus theta d tau why there is no d tau here because d tau this d tau and this d tau cancelled out okay 
when you take the integration limits of integration will be there and the limiting with respect to the variable is to be there. So, I have removed these two terms thus giving us uh, uh, the expression of this form. Okay. So, when the, the integral is taken then what we get in the left hand side we get e to the power minus a tau x tau with limits 0 to t is equal to integration from 0 to t e to the power minus a tau b u t minus theta d tau. Now, the left hand side upon simplification gives us e to the power minus a t x t minus e to the power minus a times 0 and x 0 equal to integration from 0 to t e to the power minus a tau b u t minus theta d tau. Further, this e to the power minus a times 0 will be equal to 1 or identity matrix depending on the order of a. If a is a scalar, if a is scalar, then you get this h e to the power 0 becomes 1 and if a is a matrix in that case e to the power minus a 0 will give you some identity matrix of the order of a. So, I remove this one and I get the terms e to the power minus a t times x t minus x 0 is equal to integration from 0 to t e to the power minus a tau b u t minus theta. Again this can be written as e to the power minus a t x t is equal to x 0 plus the remaining term. Then when both sides of this equation are multiplied with e to the power a t then we will get in the left hand side x t, but in the right hand side it will be e to the power a t x 0 yes e to the power a t x 0 plus integration from 0 to t e to the power a t minus tau b u tau minus theta d tau e to the power a t will get multiplied here therefore, you get e to the power a t minus tau b u t minus tau minus theta I have made some mistake somewhere. Okay. This will be b tau minus theta all those t will be tau we have made some mistake somewhere it will be okay. this becomes u tau then you have got u tau, you have got u tau over here, then this will be u tau minus 0, u tau minus no t will be there, tau with the u. Thus, finally, what we will get? We will get an expression of this form. So, what we have got the solution? The solution of of the state equation x dot t equal to a x t plus b u t minus theta can be written as x t equal to e to the power a t x 0 plus integration from 0 to t e to the power a t minus tau b u 
टाओ माइनस थीटा डी टाओ देन द आउटपुट ऑफ द सिस्टम विल बी वाई टी इज इक्वल टू सी एक्स टी इज इक्वल टू सी ई टू दी पावर ए टी एक्स जीरो प्लस सी इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी ई टू दी पावर ए टी माइनस टाओ बी यू टाओ माइनस थीटा डी टाओ दस वी डेवलप द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द स्टेट ऑफ ए सिस्टम द स्टेट वेरिएबल्स ऑफ ए सिस्टम सोल्यूशन ऑफ द स्टेट इक्वेशन बेसिकली गिव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर स्टेट वेरिएबल्स ऑफ ए सिस्टम इन दिस फॉर्म एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंटली द आउटपुट ऑफ ए सिस्टम कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड इन दिस फॉर्म दिज टू एक्सप्रेशन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन स्टेट स्पेस एनालिसिस ऑफ सिस्टम्स now we shall make use of these expressions for analysis of re relay control system how these two powerful equations are quite helpful for ana analyzing closed loop relay control systems that we shall see next so let me write down the two basic equations once again xt is equal to e to the power xt is equal to e to the power at x0 plus integration from 0 to t e to the power a t minus tau b u tau minus theta d tau now let's consider a first order plus date time model the model in transfer function form is given as ys upon us is equal to k e to the power minus theta s upon t1 s plus 1 so the transfer function model of a system has got three unknowns now and those are k theta and t1 when attempt will be made to estimate these parameters k t1 and theta definitely we have to have some relationship with the system parameters with the waveform output waveform of a system then only it will be possible to estimate the model parameters now when i cross multiply the terms then i get the same expression ys t1s plus ys is equal to k u s e to the power minus theta s taking inverse laplace transform what we get we get t1 y dot t is equal to minus y t plus k u t minus theta further giving us y dot t is equal to minus 1 upon t1 y t plus k upon t1 u t minus theta this we have derived in our previous lecture also but we have not made use of state space analysis there now we shall extend state space analysis technique for the analysis of 
this expression. Now, y dot t using state space analysis can be expressed in the form of when the state variable x t is chosen to be y t. In that case, the equation become x dot t is equal to minus 1 upon t 1 x t plus k upon t 1 u t minus theta. Yes, which in general form can be written as a x t plus b u t minus theta. So, it is giving us the standard dynamic equation of the form x dot t equal to a x t plus b u t minus theta, where e equal to minus 1 upon t 1 and b equal to k upon t 1. What is the solution of this state equation? We know that the solution of solution of the state equation is x t is equal to e to the power a t x 0 plus integration from 0 to t e to the power a t minus tau b u tau minus theta d tau. Then the solution of this equation using the standard solution for the state equation can be obtained as e to the power minus t upon t 1 x 0 plus integration from 0 to t e to the power minus 1 upon t 1 t minus tau and k upon t 1 u tau minus theta d tau. So, when I substitute the values a and b, then the solution of the state equation gives us an expression of this form x t equal to this one. Thus, the first order system will be in state variable a scalar variable x t of this form. The value of the state at any instant of time can be found using this expression. Now, x t can further be written after simplification of the second term. What is that second term? When I write the second term, then I get So, uh, uh, let us simplify the second term integration from 0 to t e to the power minus t e to the power um, let us write minus t upon t 1 then e to the power tau by t 1 and let us take out the constant k upon t 1 and we are left with the term u tau minus theta d tau over here. Now, suppose u tau minus theta equal to h, how we find these values as we have discussed earlier u t due to the delay u t minus theta will be equal to h for the time range 0 is less than equal to t is less than equal to theta and will be equal to minus h from theta is less than equal to t is less than equal to any period till is half period of the signal. So, this part we will not discuss. So, when u the input signal u t minus theta becomes h at that time 
द सेकेंड पार्ट कैन बी रिटर्न एच के एच अपन टी वन इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी ई टू दी पावर माइनस टी अपन टी वन टाइम्स ई टू दी पावर टाओ अपन टी वन ई टू दी पावर टाओ अपन टी वन डी टाओ अगेन दिस टर्म कैन बी टेकन आउट ऑफ द इंटीग्रल गिविंग अस के एच अपन टी वन ई टू दी पावर माइनस टी अपन टी वन विथ इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी ई टू दी पावर टाओ अपन टी वन डी टाओ हुई कैन फर्दर बी सिंप्लीफाइड एंड फाउंड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दिस इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू के एच अपन टी वन ई टू दी पावर माइनस टी अपन टी वन देन इट विल बी इन टू वन अपन टी वन सो टी वन विल कम एंड विल हैव ई टू दी पावर टाओ अपन टी वन विथ लिमिट्स ऑफ इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी सो दस दिस गिव्स अस के एच ई टू दी पावर माइनस टी अपन टी वन विथ ए टर्म e to the power t upon t1 minus 1 so which ultimately enables us to write xt xt in the form of so finally after simplification this can be written in the form of xt is equal to e to the power माइनस टी अपन टी वन टाइम्स एक्स जीरो प्लस सो दिस इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस आई विल राइट व्हेन आई मल्टीप्लाई दिस देन आई एम गेटिंग दिस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ के एच देन वन माइनस ई टू दी पावर माइनस टी अपन टी वन so this is what we get an expression for the state variable of the system then the output of the system can be found using the output equation what is c in that case for the first order plus delay system we have assumed when we have found this expression with the assumption that yt is equal to xt so if you do not if you have not forgotten then in that case c is equal to 1 then the output of the system yt becomes e to the power minus t upon t1 times x0 plus kh वन माइनस ई टू दी पावर माइनस टी अपन टी वन दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर आउटपुट ऑफ द फास्ट ऑर्डर प्लस डिले सिस्टम अंडर रिले कंट्रोल सो व्हाट आई मीन बाय दैट व्हेन ए सिमेट्रिकल रिले विथ हाइट्स और एम्पलीट्यूड्स एज एंड माइनस एज एक्सपीरियंसेस वन फास्ट ऑर्डर प्लस डिले सिस्टम ऑफ द फॉर्म k e to the power minus theta s upon t1 s plus 1 then the type of output you will get from this arrangement is governed by the equation yt and that is the yt we have here so suppose this results in some t for particular values of k theta and t1 and h we get some typical wave form of this form from here then this wave form is basically the result of plot of this function at different instant of time this is the time axis this is our yt so if i take a plot of yt function yt for time range 
between 0 to theta keep in mind we have the assumption with uh, time between 0 to theta only we have been able to find this expression and when t is beyond theta we do not get this expression. So, till time t equal to theta I get an output of this form suppose this is your theta then the first order system will definitely result in some exponential output. Why I call this exponential output? Because if I carefully observe there are exponential terms here. So, in spite of uh, the constants we have in the expressions due to the presence of exponential here the output will take the shape of exponential curve. Now, what are the benefits of getting the output expressed in this form? So, when we conduct or perform a relay test, we get periodic output of some typical form from first order system. Let the output be given by this form, this is your y t. So, if this, this, out, this is the output waveform and if we can establish that the peak amplitude has some relationship with some parameter or many parameters of the transfer function model, then it will be possible to estimate the transfer function model parameter based on measurement of the peak amplitude. That is the purpose of doing all this analysis. So, is it possible to get the out form, out form from analysis? Yes, it is possible because the analysis state space analysis shows that for a first order system when t is between 0 to theta the output assumes this form and when this is plotted for various values of t for time 0 to theta definitely we get an output of that form. What practically we obtain from conducting a relay test. So, a relay test will also definitely yield an waveform of this shape. So, shape of waveforms will definitely enable one to find the model parameters of a system. Now, how to establish those relationships that we shall try now. As you have seen what could be the maximum output from this first order plus delay system the maximum output we get is at time t equal to theta. Time is gradually increasing. So, at time t equal to theta y t at time t equal to theta will be equal to y theta which will be given by e to the power minus t upon t 1 x 0 plus. So, this will be theta because when I substitute t by theta I get theta over here plus k h 1 minus e to the power minus theta upon t 1. So, the output of the system is given by this expression. One important point we need to consider is that whenever we make measurements on the system output assuming that the system output is of the form as shown over here. We target measurements from time t equal to 0 till measurements up to time t equal to p u at least one complete period. So, to get the peak amplitude and ultimate period what do we have to concentrate on? We have to concentrate on the output waveform, stable output waveform for one period at least. And by convention, what do we take? We, we, we assume that the first 0 crossing occurs at time t equal to 0. Therefore, y 0 will be equal to 0. With this, when y 0 is assumed to be 0, the output expression at time t equal to 0 gives us 
y 0 is equal to x 0 if you substitute t by 0 it becomes 1 and then rest of the things you have got k h 1 minus 1. So, y 0 becomes x 0 and since we start considering the output waveform from time t equal to 0 which occurs at the first 0 crossing then it is assumed that for a first order system x 0 is equal to 0. Then in that case ultimately the output of the waveform can be given by the expression y t is equal to e to the power minus t upon t 1 times 0 plus k h 1 minus e to the power minus t upon t 1. So, this will be the expression for output waveform of first order plus time delay system for the time range 0 to theta. Now, thus I have got finally, the expression for the output in the form of y t is equal to k h 1 minus e to the power minus t upon t 1 only for first order plus date time system. I cannot guarantee this expression for any other order of transfer function model. It can vary from system model to system model. Of course, with the limiting values for t 1, k and so, we can extend this expression for any other type of transfer function model. Now, when y t is this much, then the peak amplitude of the output signal y t at time t equal to theta is equal to k h 1 minus e to the power minus theta upon t 1 which becomes the peak amplitude now. This is how I find one relationship between parameters of the first order plus delay model with that of the peak amplitude of the output signal. So, what we get from this expression? Simplifying this expression one get 1 minus e to the power minus theta upon t 1 is equal to a p by k h or e to the power minus theta upon t 1 is equal to 1 minus a p by k h which is nothing but k h minus a p by k h. So, theta by t 1 is equal to natural logarithm of k h upon k h minus a p. This shows that there exists relationship among the parameters of the transfer function model first order plus date time model with that of peak amplitude of the waveform output signal we get from relay test. So, finally, let me write down the expression one more to get insight about the expression or what benefit we get from the expressions. So, theta upon t 1 can be written as natural logarithm of k h upon k h minus a p. What are known and what are unknown in this expression? The steady state gain of the system can be obtained by various methods. So, k is often known, h is set by the user. So, the relay amplitude is set by the user or operator. A p is measured 
using some peak detector. So, thus the right hand side of the expression is known using the right hand side and left hand side it is not difficult to get the transfer function model parameters theta ratio between the transfer function parameter theta upon t 1 h ln k h upon k h minus a p. So, thus the model parameter that we had in the transfer function model k e to the power minus theta s upon t 1 s plus 1 ratio between the two parameters is obtained using this expression. Similarly, further expressions can be developed using state space between t 1 and theta and other parameters like our ultimate period that we measure from the output waveform. Then using two expressions it is always possible to estimate two unknowns or if we can develop three equations using the state space analysis then the three unknowns of the transfer function model can easily be estimated. That is how accurately we obtain the estimate for the transfer function model. The beauty of using state space analysis is that it is possible to estimate the parameters of the transfer function model accurately. Now, what we have learned from this lecture that what a state space is, state space equation and output equation is. Then what <coughs> benefit we get from state space analysis of system. When the state space analysis of system has been extended to a first order plus date time model, we have seen that we can establish relationship between the parameters of the model with that of the output we get from the system under relay control. Also, it is apparent that one may have to solve a set of nonlinear equations for identification of systems. As I have told that for higher order systems, we may get a set of nonlinear equations from the state space analysis. The state space analysis will get give you exact equations, but the equations might be highly nonlinear in nature. Then, how to handle such nonlinear equations? Care must be taken to choose judiciously the initial conditions or initial solutions when solving such set of nonlinear equations. Again, like the previous lecture, the external effects of external disturbances have not been considered in this lecture because we begin with simple expression to avoid to uh, make uh, the analysis easier intentionally we have not considered the effects of external disturbances in our analysis. Otherwise, the state equation could have been given in the form of x dot t is equal to a x t plus b u t minus theta plus d t where d t are the real time disturbances in the system states. Similarly, the output could have been also disturbances given by y t equal to c x t plus e t, where this e t will be nothing but our measurement errors. E t stands for all sorts of measurement error due to inaccuracy in the sensors. Some points to ponder how are state space models different from the transfer function models. Let me give one, you one simple example. A transfer function model is given by G s k e to the power minus theta s upon t 1 s plus 1, whereas the state space model has got two expressions. One state equation and the other one is the output equation. And you get this expressed in the form of x dot t 
equal to A x t plus B u t minus theta y t equal to C x t. So, how they are different? Using the state space model, it is possible to take into account the effects of initial conditions, initial conditions, whereas transfer functions cannot handle handle initial conditions. So, there is no scope for considering the initial conditions when you have transfer function model whereas, that is not so with the state space model. That is the main difference between the two type of models we have for many real time systems. And when the question comes like this, how to solve the set of nonlinear equations, as I have already mentioned, it is all about choosing judiciously the set of initial solutions, initial solutions while solving the set of nonlinear equations. equations such that such that the solutions do not converge to erroneous values. So, it is all about writing proper codes MATLAB codes for solving the set of nonlinear equations. There are some functions under MATLAB, MATLAB library like f mean f solve to help solve nonlinear equations effectively. That is all.